What's up guys, my name is Vector, today we're gonna talk about 10 tips I wish I knew before starting playing Genshin Impact. So let's start wasting time and let's get started. The first tip is going to be follow MiHoYo on social media, subscribe to the channel, do everything you can to be up to date with MiHoYo news. Why is this? Why is this? But for the simple reason that recently MiHoYo did a live stream and in that live stream they released out redeem codes that you can actually get Primer Gems from. So you can actually get more Primer Gems just by watching live stream. The same thing happened with Slime Paradise, it's a web event that you can actually get 90 Primo Gems from it. So so just by following in social media knowing what they're doing you can actually get extra gems just from doing basic stuff so be sure to follow your social media always be up to date i intend to cover the news they're gonna bring so if they're gonna be like any primo gems gaining be sure to subscribe because i will definitely publish it on this channel the second tip is connected to the first one because i already introduced it which is use redeem codes what do you need to use redeem codes at first i didn't even know the existence of redeem codes but they're very helpful as they provide more primo gems just by redeeming a code which is crazy I'm gonna leave on the screen what codes are available on January. In case you're wondering, but how do I know this redeem code? Like I said before, following me Hoyo and just type in Genshin Impact redeem code. The third tip is don't farm artifacts until you level 40 slash 45. Why though? Why? For the simple reason, when you reach level 40 is when you can start getting 5 star artifacts from domain. I know a lot of people said you have to wait till 45. That's for the simple reason that you will be guaranteed that you can get a 5 star artifact. So you can choose either way, level 40 slash 45. You might have a question. So what should I do until I get level 40? Well, you should focus your resources, your resin, on farming, bosses, getting ascension materials. That's all you need to do. Until you level 40, 45, the artifacts you get the, from drops, etc, etc, will be fine. But once you be level 40, you're gonna start farming for artifacts or 45. You choose between the two. The fourth tip is buy an ascension material from the shop. So where are they located? There are three shops in total. They are located in Wangshin, 100 Winds Temple and the Leoware Pharmacy. So be sure to buy them every day as the shop refreshes every single day. And you're gonna save a lot of more time just by buying this, these pieces sources even if you don't need it then just going in the world and farming them so to be sure to do them the fifth tip is doing domain with your friends. Why did I say doing domain with your friends? Um, because until recently, I always play Genshin Impact alone. And the amount of time I lost doing domains was a lot. Was really a lot. So I started playing with my friend. The amount of time I'm saving just by doing a domain with my friend is it's a lot. Like from five minutes from a run, it just went to one minute. And obviously, to the plus side, then you can actually have fun with your friends. So that's an added bonus. So if you have friend do it for the sixth tip you know guys when you need an ascension material that is dropped from mobs but you don't know where the mobs is well until recently i was looking up to guys to find where the mobs are but genshin impact built in searching for enemies that drop on ascension material so you can actually use the adventure book to search the enemies that drop that ascension material so be sure to use that don't waste time looking at guys you can actually do it from yourself i actually save a lot of time and yeah be sure to do it it's a quick tip the seventh tip is don't level up characters if you can't ascend them what do i mean by this right now my adventure rank is 49 i cannot ascend any character to phase 6 until i'm ar50 if i level up my character to level 80 first i cannot ascend them and second every xp that i gain by killing mobs won't go to the character because he's already at max hp so i'm wasting xp and in the long run that wasted xp could be 20 heroes with save and you all know how important books are so be sure to follow this tip to the fullest so you can actually use those books on other characters the eighth tip is don't over farm i'm gonna make you a practical example if you have already all the resources to ascend that character there is no need to get more of that resources you're just wasting time and resin so what you're gonna do is go farm from other things if you have enough resources for all the characters don't continue from those books farm other ones so be sure to don't over farm things 
because resin and time is one of the most important resources in this game so be sure to do follow this tip and it's gonna be good the ninth tip is never use primo gems on normal summons yeah i made a mistake at the beginning or oh, when i started playing this game was i use primo gems on normal summons which you'd never need to do that there is no need to use normal summons because when you use primo gems on a limited banner character you can actually get the same characters you can get from normal summons so there is no need to even spend primo gems on normal summons just do it everything for limited banner characters because the limited if you get that character good if you don't you will get a normal summon a normal character that you can get so never use primo gems on normal summon as they're practically useless normal summons in my opinion are useless the 10th tip is don't get stressed if you can play every day remember this is a game i know how this game can get very taxing as you need to do daily commissions, you need to use resin because you need to be very efficient, especially if you are a free to play player. Oh my god, this can get very stressing sometimes. I just wanted to remind you this is a game, it's not a chore. Don't force yourself to play if you don't want to play. It's a game, remember. And if you really want to do it and you cannot, I'm gonna give you this tip. If you're playing for PC only, that is. Use your phone. Right now I have connected my account to my PC and my phone. So if I cannot play on my PC, I can actually play on my phone. So I can do my dailies there, use my resin etc etc now you might think we are finished but we're not we have not because i'm gonna give you an extra tip the next tip is don't buy accounts what 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 do i mean don't buy accounts well i haven't bought it myself but since i'm very active on reddit there is a, a subreddit that is called Genshin Hack. Basically, there are a lot of people who have told their stories about how they got hacked, how their account got sold, and they got it back. If you want to save money, real life money, if because you wanted a character, don't buy accounts because those accounts are hacked. And in case the original, how do I call it, the original owner gets his account back, you're going to lose time, money, and basically going to reset yourself. So work on your account, don't buy account. And also protect your account. The first thing you need to do is don't show off your account on the internet. Don't show you got everything. You basically you put a target list on your head, and the hacker is gonna talk to you. So yeah, protect your account. Don't buy accounts. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Oh Jesus, my microphone just went nuts. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below what tips would you add to this video i hope you have a wonderful day because i'm having one right now so peace